hi guys welcome back to the channel i'm Ika, if you're new here welcome so a couple of days ago i came up with this idea of showing you some of the louis vuitton handbags that don't really get enough attention in my opinion i feel like they are a little bit underrated but they're so beautiful nonetheless i really wanted to check them out i was browsing on the louis vuitton website a couple of days ago and i found this cute little bag and i really wanted to check it out and then i went further and further and i found so many incredible handbags I feel like a lot of people really trying to go for something very popular very classic like a never full a pochette Métis and other bags similar to that like the on-the-go style but they don't really pay attention to other beautiful pieces that they have and this was actually supposed to be a sit-down video but I know how much you love my shopping vlogs I thought it would be so much better if I just went to Louis Vuitton and checked all of them out in person tried them on and showed you how they looked how I felt about them I obviously couldn't really like film in there properly but I still have some footage I really enjoyed those handbags I think they're quite cute and really something different something I don't see that often I mean I didn't know some of them existed until very recently and apparently they've been out for a long time I hope you will enjoy this video also the new collection in Louis Vuitton will be launched on the 24th of July I'm not sure when Louis Vuitton in Geneva will receive it but I definitely want to go I definitely want to check it out and I will be taking you guys with me so if you're interested to to see that as well then subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell button and as soon as the collection is there I will go film the video and post it ASAP so you guys will be one of the first ones to see it as well especially if some of you are still in lockdown and can't really go to stores and see things yet anyway I've been talking for definitely too long enjoy the video and I'll see you a bit later So I'm checking some of the bags that I haven't seen before. I've only discovered them on the website. I mean, I've heard of this one in here. I really don't remember the name. I'll put it down there so you can see. And I've seen it on Carrie's and I think Jerusha has a similar one. And I think it's so cute. And they have it in this beautiful like ballerina pink color with a white and monogram strap on the two little charms. Then there is also this one, it's patent. I was actually eyeing the one in pink color, but this one comes in black only. Super cute. And it's this very shiny patent color. And it's quite spacious. So here is another one of the underrated Louis Vuitton handbags and I think it's so cute but I believe this is an older style and then you can wear it crossbody and the chain is quite long so if you're taller it's gonna look perfect on you
This is also the comparison of the Vavam bag. This is what it's called. And this one is the mini. And this is the regular size. And here is them side by side. So I think for every day, it's so much better to get the regular size because it can hold a lot more. It also has this zip pocket over here, which is quite large as well. Whereas the other one is more of an evening type bag. Here is the next one. I'll put all the names of each bag next to them. It's so cute with a beautiful lock in the front. And again, the ballerina pink color. I'm so obsessed with pink right now. I want pink everything. And it has some pink interior as well. This is the microfiber and it also comes with a shoulder strap. It's the adjustable strap in leather and I think it is so cute. It's like a mini version and it looks adorable. It's like a very cute everyday bag really cute and this lock in the front is everything this is the name and the reference number it's called the Loki BB monogram here is another cute bag I found on the website and it looks like the Clary bag that I have um, probably because of the logo over here and also it reminds me of the party garden from Hermes or the maybe Prada the Prada bag but it's cute this is a smaller size I believe they have a larger size too This one reminds me of the Birkin, but Louis Vuitton style, so cute. This twist, yeah, it is actually real for this little compartment in here. But if you want to lock the bag completely, you have these two little attachments. So you lock it together it's like in the Neverfull and it also has a shoulder strap which you cannot remove I believe oh no actually you can yes you can remove the strap and it has this beautiful electric blue interior I think it's a beautiful bag honestly and I think it looks more interesting than a Birkin in my opinion and it also has a strap and I believe it's a little bit more affordable and I love this chain um, this little keychain this little one and you can remove it if you want to pretty cute what do you guys think? I think this is one of the newer styles that I haven't seen yet This is another bag I wanted to take a look at. It's the Dauphin Hobo bag. I'm actually not a fan of this type of bags because it's so large for my liking, but I really like the Dauphin design. So I think if I were to choose one, I would go for this one because it is so pretty. And I love the reverse monogram together with a regular monogram. I think it looks so stunning. This is a very beautiful bag. This type of leather was popular yeah. many years ago. But just a little uh, tips for you if you like. Um, uh, say, um, yeah. You, uh, you better take something like red, black, because the pink you need to be careful about the transfer of color. You can get the color of your pink. Really? The patent leather? The, yeah, the, the 
the pink one is very clear. So Hi guys, so I'm now going to Manolo Planik to check out some sales items but also some other shoes, maybe something from the new collection. I'm very excited to go, so let's go. Today, as a vlogging camera, I'm using my DJI Osmo and I really hope the quality is gonna be good. So since editing on my, using my iPhone footage is such a pain in the ass right now, I found an alternative and I've had this camera for quite a while now but I haven't used it. Nice change. but honestly I couldn't find anything nice at all I tried on one pair they didn't have the right size for me it was too small and then they also had some flats from the Hangisi collection but the seasonal ones they were nice they had my size but I didn't like the pattern they were these black and white ones with uh, some polka dot and some stripes and it just really wasn't my style at all so I didn't like anything to be honest and even the regular classic styles I guess wasn't interested really when it's sales for some reason I just love to shop sales only and I don't even look at things that are full price because I'm like okay it's the sales and I have to take the advantage and find something nice but since there wasn't anything I liked I've decided not to get anything you know because otherwise it's just a waste of money and yeah so I'm walking home I'm passing by this beautiful such a beautiful park in Geneva it's really nice it's so dreamy in here with trees and grass and some flowers the weather is really good today it's a little bit cloudy there is no sun so it's not that hot it's about 20 something degrees 21 23 and i think it's perfect it was raining for a little bit but a few minutes so it's fine and i'll just enjoy the walk back home i think it's gonna take me another 30 minutes to get there but it's fine while i'm in the park i'm gonna show you my mini haul so this is just the bag i brought with me have my bottle of water there umbrella and my camera um, but i went to sephora and i got this evian facial spray and this were on sale for only 15 francs and they're so amazing to spray all over your body especially when it's really hot in our apartment we just love to spray ourselves with it so we can cool a little bit 
then I got some sunscreen for when we go traveling and then I also got myself another Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1. This is such an amazing spray. It's the primer um, setting spray and also the um, refreshing one so in the evening if I know we'll have to go out again and I don't want to reapply my makeup I'll just use this one to refresh my makeup the look of it and I love it I ran out of it this morning so I needed to get one as soon as I could and yeah that's my mini haul so these are some of the pieces I checked out at Louis Vuitton I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you found some beautiful bags from Louis Vuitton that maybe you haven't seen before I think you should definitely consider them they're so cute really adorable and I think we should definitely pay more attention to them anyway thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye